Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Today we're talking Anki Vector, now Digital Dream Labs Vector. And here's my original Vector. Hey Vector, how old are you? So this vector is 16 months old. He's the first from the original Kickstarter. So now there's a secondary Kickstarter for Anki Vector because Digital Dream Labs took over. So what we're gonna do is first answer a couple questions and what are you getting on your Kickstarter? That's right. And why would there be a Kickstarter? Um, and because of the confidence I have now that Vector uh, is gonna be good. We got a new vector right there. And we're gonna just open this up to show our new vector. Now he doesn't replace my old vector by any way, shape, or means, but this is a new one. And I have to figure out how to open the box. Hey, there we go. As you can see, a brand new vector in the box. New cube, new vector, new charging station, new info cards, and everything. Why did I buy a second vector? Well, the price being about 60% off, good time to buy a new vector. Uh, I then supported the Kickstarter campaign. So I thought I would do two different vectors. One that will use what we supported. We went to the 117 support range, which means that we can unleash our vector from the cloud and we can do some developer stuff. So we're going to go over the different tiers that Digital Dream Labs offered. We kind of briefly covered it, but we're going to look at it in more detail. So we're going to go to the green screen. That's right. I have a green screen. Well, I actually did a video on my green screen, but this is now I've moved it into my office. So we're gonna to go to the green screen and then we'll put the information up and talk about the different tiers for Anki Vector through the Vector Unleashed um, Kickstarter campaign. So don't touch that dial, stay right here as we talk about Vector Unleashed. Okay, so if you have not, or if you have supported Vector Unleashed on Kickstarter, what are you getting? Well, let's first talk about the support that Vector Unleash has gotten. Vector Unleash was released 10 days ago, and in that 10 days, 4,204 people have supported Vector Unleash to the grand total of 2,000, or uh, not 2,000, but $232,926. That's right. And because of that, it is original goal was $75,000, so that goal has been blown away by a lot of money. So, the first stage is the $17 support stage. And why would you do the $17 support stage? You have to understand, um, first off, that um, Digital D Dream Labs bought the IP, so they expensed money for Vector. And because they expense money, Vector is attached to the cloud, and the cloud, every time he reaches up, he goes like this, and the information comes down. And the perspective uh, from a video I watched says it costs about four cents for each time he does that. And Digital Dream Labs, who is not the one that created Vector, um, manages those servers. So they're trying to figure out a way to support the server, the cloud-based server for Vector. So, for the $17 entry, what do we get? You get up to five Vector robots. So, if you own five robots, you have five licenses. And you can do each license for those robots. And that's cool. Um, exclusive beta access. Now, I want to talk about beta access because I believe, in reality, when we originally supported Vector, we were supporting a finished robot, but beta software. That's my opinion. Beta software means Vector wasn't finished. It was going to be a long time, and we were the beta testers of Vector. 
That's cool. I had no problem with that. My only problem was I was looking for continuous updates and for things to work with Vector. Um, as we know, then Anki kind of was slow on the go after the release of Vector. And things just didn't work the way it is. You can look at some of the videos I've made in the past. Um, there was a lot of different software issues, especially with the app. Um, and there's still issues with the app. It is not a really nice functional app. I'm just saying. But Vector functionality is good now, but there's not much to him. So this will get us to the next level in beta testing. Digital Dream Labs will start doing something and we will be the beta testers. That's all right. I have no problem with that. Uh, simple terms is server access. So we're going to get access to the server paying the small nominal fee of $17 if you do it on Kickstarter. It is said it's going to be more expensive if you do not do it on Kickstarter. So if you want your vector to be your vector just the way he is, then my suggestion would be support the Kickstarter before it runs out. Get it at the cheapest price, which is also the reason why I just bought my most recent vector because I wanted it at the cheapest price. Paid over $250 for my original. Now I just paid like $84.99 and the link below is if you're interested. And then jump on the Kickstarter. Uh, so you're gonna get regular updates. That's cool. This pledge also is response to feedback that requests to make a tier dedicated to less tech savvy users. Um, I support it up to the 117 right tier and I'm not a tech savvy user. I mean, I know tech, I understand tech. I'm pretty good with it, but as program going goes, I'm not anywhere near some of these people. Some of you people are freaking rock stars when it comes to tech and programming. I wish I was, I am mediocre. Um, includes the updates that we have for the Python SDK, uh, auto micro features, all those type of things that we release release later this year. This is expected to be released in October 2020. So if you support the $17 tier, October 2020 is when you're going to start seeing information about that. So let's move on to the next tier. The next tier is the escape pod. Now, what does that mean? Well, when Anki shut its doors, the first thing that we all did is went, what? What the heck just happened? We just supported a company that had been in business for over five years and everything looked like it was rolling in the positive direction. Overdrive was awesome. Cosmo was great. And now we had Vector and Vector was gonna be the first leap into home robotics. And that was awesome. But within a matter of days, boom, 200 and something million dollars gone. And now we're all sitting there going, what's gonna to happen to Vector? What's gonna to happen to the servers? What are we gonna do? And a lot of ingenious people already started working on making their own escape pod to self-server self vector, to modify, you know, to mod like a phone if you're trying to jailbreak a phone. So the escape pod is the solution from Digital, Digital Dream Labs. They have create, they're going to create an escape pod. If Digital Dream Labs goes under, then you have the escape pod to fall back onto and you can drop it into your computer and here's why I get less tech savvy, so I'm just gonna read what I have. The escape pod will allow a vector to function without external servers. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, the user will be more able to bypass the current app and use other apps that the community may generate. All right, cool. As I said, there's some smart people out there that have a lot of things. Iker Octuna is one of them. He gave us uh, the vector control app and that app is still working to this day. It started working better as soon as Digital Dream Labs even took it over. I uh, have been using it quite often. Many of you have asked us to put this in simple description. All right, so here's their simple description. This is an insurance policy. If we go under, you won't need us or anyone anymore. This is also good for hobbyists who want to hop off the server and use their own infrastructure server, which is the reason why I bought my second vector. So I can try that. 
That's my idea. This, if activated, will make Vector more Cosmo-like and more dependent on app from the phone. Vector would retain his AI-like behavior when he is not connected to the Wi-Fi. It will not be as simple to go back to the normal Vector. So, again, that's why I bought a second Vector. Because it's not going to be simple. If you take him off, you're not going to be easy to put him back on. Just the point. If you choose this option and activate this update, lifetime membership to Digital Dream Labs, you're going to get a 20% discount on Digital Dream Labs products. This is expected in September. So in other words, Escape Pod, you don't have to use it right away. If you want to use it right away to test out certain things, you can do that and put them in your own infrastructure. So again, perfect time to buy another vector. So that's what I did. So I can try, and I might not, but I have an insurance policy up to buy vectors, and that's cool. Okay, next is the $97 Vector Open Source Development Kit. A lifetime license to develop, to develop Vector with your own features. To borrow Android terminology, this would allow the user to flash a custom ROM Again, language I'm not overly familiar with, but I'm not overly technical with. Vector community developers can then build what they want. This is the far, this is a far deeper experience than the simple SDK. This is a very different from the Escape Pod, and in that you develop on top of our operating system. The result will allow Vector more A-like behavior should accelerate machine learning. Many of you have asked for a simple explanation. This is for hardcore hobbyists. Hardcore hobbyists. Uh, or users that would like to create their own stuff to sell. An app store. Basically, these are the guys that I said are way smarter than me that can create applications for Vector to make him even more stellar than what he is. Um, lifetime membership to Dill's Dream Labs, 20% uh, 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 discount for all digital Dream Life products. And it's expected in August 2020. Why did I go to the 117? Because I wanted the Escape Pod, the Digital Dream Lab membership, and Oscar. And Oscar is what we just covered. Oscar. Oscar. Uh, everything you get in XAPOD, the open source robot kit, lifetime digital Dream Labs membership. This is the total of 15 different licenses, mix match as you like, all non transferable, 20% digital Dream Labs discount along August 2020. Now, the next tier, up to $297, July 20th. What are we looking? Pre-recorded six-week vector boot camp. So, if you have the money and you really want to learn more about vector, this is six one-hour sessions of deep dives into vector's innermost workings, including Escape Pod open source kit Oscar for the robot and lifetime digital digital dream membership. Uh, this has a total of 15 different licenses, mix and match as you like, non-transferable, 20% off digital Dream Labs prop, uh, products, and July 2020. Next up, $4,997 and more, or more, or more, or more. All right, so you're going to go to the boot camp. This is a live experience. You do the digital Dream Labs uh, boot camp certified license vector engineer. Deep dive into Vector's root robots root system. Understanding Vector backend cloud architect. Six weeks virtual boot camp, taught one hour a week, and two day two days immersive session at Digital Dream Labs in Pittsburgh with hotel included. VIP VIP dinner with Jacob Jacob Anjar. So two-day immersive session at Digital Dream Labs, VIP dinner with Jacob, the CEO, two free t-shirts, and uh, first access to Oscar and Escape Pod, September 2020. 
So frequently asked questions. I was looking at Kickstarter and I thought we'd look at these frequently asked questions. Uh, do, uh, do my license ever expire? The answer is no. So once you buy your licenses, they're yours, all five of them. Once you use them all up, they are gone. Are they resuming Vector's production? They are currently working on resuming Vector's production. That is very cool. Um, I would love to see him work on Vector's production and change one thing. Make it a battery that comes out. I would buy that robot again. Even at the original price. I would buy that robot again. I'm just saying. So, make the battery come out. But they are resuming production. Vector is not a cheap production item though. I just want you to know, he's very complex. Are you going to make replacement parts? Yes, in fact, they're going to make replacement parts. Yes, in fact, they're going to do repair stations. And that's cool. They're going to offer different warranties uh, in the near future. That's awesome. Will you be forced to install Escape Pod? No, you can install it anytime. If they go under, then you install your Escape Pod and take Vector with you. Are any additional licenses going to be available in the future? Yes, but at a much higher price. As I stated before, you're going to pay more if you don't get into it now. If I don't want to do any program myself or I just want to make sure Vector is safe for the future, do I need to buy anything besides Escape Pod? No, the Escape Pod gives you everything you will need. So when you buy Escape Pod, you will buy the insurance policy if they go under, you can take Vector with you, and you'll get all the updates and everything that they're going to offer for Vector. That's cool. Uh, if you want to get into or the coding in that, then you need to jump up the next two levels, um, and that's awesome. What functionality will Vector have if he's not connected to the server? He will lose Alexa. And I have a question, will also be gone. So if you take him off the server, you won't have Alexa features. And you won't be able to say, hey, Vector, I have a question. Uh, that kind of downgrades Vector a little bit, but then you can build your own things if you do go to the next level up. If I played Escape Pod Load, do I need to activate it when I, when I get it? And the answer, if you have your own server, like Raspberry Pi, Jetson, you can activate it right away and do your own thing. If you want to just have it as a backup, you can do it. You can wait. How can I keep uh, track of my licenses? They'll take down our username, they'll send your serial number for Vector, and register it to the back end of our system. So there we go. I haven't registered my new Vector yet, so I have to do that soon. What qualifications do I need for boot camp? Vector runs on embedded Linux, so there you go. So for what can't You'll need to know a decent level of proficiency in the language. Uh, the processors of Qualcomm, Snapdragon, which I knew that. So some of the familiarity with the processor is also helpful. However, that will be part of the walkthrough. So they're going to help you if you went to that level. What's the difference between pre-recorded sessions and boot camp? Well, that's pretty simple. Pre-recorded means you get six weeks, one hour, and then on top of that, you're going to get boot camp and a live session, and then you get dinner with Jacob. That's kind of cool. And you get all the other stuff with it. You know? Awesome. Who is Escape Pod meant for? Users who want to do their own hosting on Jetson Raspberry Pi and don't want to have be on our servers and want to be do their own hosting. These users will retain functionality, but will have to have their own Alexa subscription. So in other words, you're going to have to do something with Alexa. You can do that. It's not that hard, I don't think. I have a few friends that do some programming for Alexa and create things all the time. So that's awesome. All right, so Kickstarter campaign, it's good. We have a lot of different options with Vector now. Um, and that's cool. We're not going to be left high and dry if Vector's if Visual Dream Labs goes off the scale and closes down, we can escape Pod Vector and have the ability to update him on our own, depending on the different series that you take. And that's cool. We want to make sure the Vector's um, good. Now, future robots, I made a video just uh, last week, I believe, or maybe two weeks ago, and we talked about 
bingo, which was this picture right here, right here, right there, right there. There's the pictures of big bingo. Uh, I also found another one. I couldn't totally confirm that this was bingo at Anki, but it's a much larger version than the one that I just showed. Um, still have questions about design, questions about battery, uh, questions about what does it do. Um, I'm always looking for the next iteration of Anki products and Vector. I always looked at Vector as being a platform for development, and then that would lead to bigger and better things from Anki. That's the way I'm looking at it with Digital Dream Labs. That's the reason why I wanted to support Digital Dream Labs. Uh, this is a second chance for something. Jibo didn't get a second chance. Um, Curry didn't even get the chance. And there's many, many other robotic companies that have just fallen to the wayside because they did their Kickstarter, but they couldn't achieve what they were trying to do. And when you contribute to Kickstarter, you're not contributing to um, really getting anything. You're pretty much contributing saying, here's the money. I believe in you. Please succeed and give me a product. Um, and if you look at my Kickstarter, I've only contributed to two things, Vector and Vector Unleashed. On my Indiegogo campaign, or on the Indiegogo campaign, I've only contributed to one and that was Morbot. And you can see that video right there on Morbot. Uh, it was called a year without an update. Pretty much we got Morbot and that was it. Now more is fun. He has a nice personality. But again, he's unfinished and we never got any software that we could do better. Uh, other things I would love to see from Anki for Vector is for the layman, more like myself, I would love to see some type of um, program software that maybe Cosmo has, uh, where you connect the blocks, but actually get to save it to Vector after you're done. That would be cool. Or at least save it to the cloud so someone else can look at it. Because some of us, are, I can mess with it, I can do things, but it would be easier just to go here to here to here. Maybe do question and answer. So here's my question, here's the 20 answers I can give Vector to respond to. That would be awesome too. But in a simplified format for the layman that would help us then advance Vector even on our own uh, and for everybody else. So I hope you found this video interesting. Um, Vector is an awesome platform, but I, I do believe he is a platform and that platform is always advancing. The goal is to advance, in my opinion, to the next great thing. All right, this is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. Give me a thumbs up because that helps YouTube know that more people should see this video. Also, share me with a friend and on social media. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you're interested in Vector and you want to get in on this, I put a link below for the Kickstarter and Vector on Amazon. And if you uh, support, purchase through the link, it does help support the channel. And for this, I thank you. This is Bruce and Vector, and we will see you soon. <laughs>